In this tutorial, we're going to talk about using what the font. This is a cool little tool set that's built into CorelDRAW, and this really helps you uh, discern which font is available in a design. Uh, most commonly, when you get a bitmap-based logo across your desk and you need to find out what font it is, uh, it's a great alternative than reconstructing or redrawing the font, especially if it's a little bit more complex. So, under the text drop-down menu, you'll notice we have an option here that says what the font at the very bottom. Once I activate what the font, give it a little uh, few seconds to generate, um, notice our pick tool has been replaced. There's an option that says click and drag to select a new capture area. So really the goal of this is, is to draw a box around a character, and I try to use characters that are very distinct, like the R, for example, is probably the most distinct, uh, and maybe the E and the D would be uh, other candidates, but the O might be so generic that there'd be a lot of font options. So basically try to find the greatest um, uh, font with the greatest degree of maybe uniqueness, uh, and then go ahead and drag a box around that, and then click on the inside of the box, and it says click or press enter, to proceed, and you can see now we're going to navigate uh, to whatthefont.com, and of course follow the instructions. Uh, here, you know, it shows you the font that you've selected. Click continue, and uh, the next part is it does some analysis, and it says what the font results. There are five matches for the image you've uploaded, and in this case, uh, Britannic bold looks uh, appropriate. So I can go ahead and click on that, and that will show you all the characters that are available in that font. Um, so what we can do is we can type in sample text like Rodeo and actually preview that particular font uh, to get a, a better sense if it was appropriate. Now, of course, uh, if you don't have that particular font, you have the option to buy it. Um, if it's not for sale, it will indicate not for sale, but oftentimes you can actually buy it, uh, the font from this particular source. But if it tells you that, hey, this is Britannic Bold, of course, you can go back into CorelDRAW and we can go and activate uh, uh, Britannic Bold if you happen to own it. So I'll go back and retype Rodeo and we'll go to my drop down here and select Britannic Bold and you can see that that's pretty darn uh, close. In fact, that's an exact match. So that's a great way to use uh, a tool that's already built into CorelDRAW to ascertain uh, which font was being used in the particular project and that will allow you the opportunity to bypass having to redraw it from scratch and you can just plug in the appropriate font.